Hi friends, welcome to the start of the Novella-a-thon. Excuse the chainsaw, if you can hear it. <laughs> I live on a property with my parents and my dad loves to cut down some trees. So I think I'm gonna wait a second. <laughs> On pause. Um, this is the start of the novella a thon, and yeah, the start it actually started yesterday. Um, and I've already read one book, but I filmed like a whole clip for that first day, and I just wasn't feeling it. I'm still not really feeling it all that much today. Yesterday, I had Pilates, and after Pilates, I think I've been having like a very long headache ever since then that comes and goes. It's not like it's kind of almost migraine worthy, but it's not yet because migraine worthy is like. I cannot get out of bed um but it's like getting there like my brain fog is awful anyway i was totally out of it when i was filming the intro to this vlog yesterday so um i thought i'd start over on day two it's the second day of the novella -thon. and this is my tbr i have many books in my tbr but these are the top six that i want to read and i'm really excited that our group book is crybaby so the pink one on the graphic um and yeah i don't know anything about it but i know that samantha loves this book in that author so i'm excited if you don't know about the novella thon it's a readathon i host with rachel tiffany and samantha they're all gonna be linked down below um where this is our second round of the novella thon where we read novellas for a week or about a week because this is from a uh, Wednesday to a Monday. Yesterday we had reading sprints also. Samantha and I were on Samantha's channel along with Crystal. Crystal came and joined us, which was so fun. I loved talking to them for about like an hour and a half. Um, and I got some reading done. I'm sad to say the book that I read during the time of the reading sprints, I'm gonna DNF. So <laughs> before that point, I had my first book of this readathon was a five star. It's Woods the Ice Giant by Lala Faye. I loved this so much. Our heroine, decides to do this kind of like genetic matchmaking thing to matchmake her with a monster to marry one. In exchange, she'll like have a bunch of money sent home to her family who's starving because she's the oldest of six children and their parents died. So she's like basically responsible for her younger siblings. Anyway, she gets matched to this king ice giant and <laughs> the wedding scene in here and the consummation scene in here, like, wow. It's like this dude is a giant and she's a small woman. Um, and so there's quite a size difference in here. And it was very, very good to read about. <laughs> I really liked that. Anyway, um, if you want like a 100 page monster romance with like awesome size difference stuff, like read this one. I loved it. I could not get enough of it. I just wanted to read it all day long. And then I decided to pick up the second book in the series, The Minotaur one but it's by a different author and it's literally only 97 pages I got to 30% and I'm gonna do enough it like they're already like they just met and they're like madly in love it's another one of like the heroine signs up for the genetic bride matching program or whatever gets matched to a minotaur and the moment that they see each other they're just like we are in love and I'm just like okay faded mates I get but faded mates that do that not my cup of tea so I'm gonna DNF it even though it is only 97 pages like no, I'm not going to deal with that. So that's the only, those are the only two things that I've read for the novellathon. I haven't read anything today for the novellathon because I was finishing a book that I started before the readathon started. I was reading this Candy Steiner book and I'll leave my thoughts to that in my um, wrap up video for April because I definitely have thoughts on this book. Um, but yeah, now that I finished that, I can now pick up a new audio, which I think I'm going to try and choose an audiobook from uh, the Audible Plus catalog because they have a lot of actually novellas on the Audible Plus catalog. And then um, pick a new ebook to read. I think I want to do the like sold to my ex's dad or something. I think I want to pick that one up. Cause that one's just like intriguing me right now, you know? So, um, so far, great start to the readathon. I had a five star. I had a DNF, but it's fine. I'm not worried about it. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go lay down. I got off of work today and this whole week has been testing week and I've been in charge of a pullout group during testing week. Um, so I sit with two girls in my office for like three hours straight every day this week. I've had to read a test aloud to them and help them with their tests, like not with their answers or anything. Like I have to read aloud the test and the answer choices and stuff. So I think I'm like talked out because I've been talking for so much. I'm not a big like talker and it might be shocking since I have a booktube channel, but I am not a big talker. And the more that I talk, like if I talk a lot, 
my head starts to hurt so maybe that's also part of why my head is hurting anyway um i'm gonna go lay down and read a book probably do some digital coloring or something along those lines because that's what i'm in the mood to do but i'll update you later when i have picked up new audiobook and a new ebook. Happy Friday everybody. It's a happy Friday indeed. I am very happy that work is done. It's around 4 o'clock, uh, 4.30 and I'm sitting in the parking lot of the grocery store that I go to. Um, if you don't live in Texas you don't know what HEB is but I can eat a lot of stuff at HEB so I have to drive to the next town over in order to go to HEB so did that today. So I have my little fanny pack with me and I'm gonna go ahead in there um because i have a lot of stuff to buy and like food other things i have a prescription to pick up i have a lot of things to do anyway um i thought i'd do a reading update uh i finished i started and finished i think it's devoted and Des deserted possibly i can't remember um, i'm giving this three stars it was fine it's a nanny romance where the nanny's also a speech pathologist our hero is like a famous football star and his son has not spoken in in the eight months since his wife has died he did not have a good relationship with his wife um and so he's trying to figure out like what's going on with the son why does he stop speaking so he hires our heroine and right from the get-go they're very very attracted to each other very into each other it was fine it was very insta lovey for my taste so i'm giving that one three stars that one's on audible plus as well as the other books in the series i think there's a bunch of books in the series i don't think i'm gonna continue it just wasn't what is my favorite thing? Then I did start and finish A Walk in the Park. I think that's the title by Rebecca Weatherspoon. This one is on Audible Plus also. And yeah, our hero and the heroine, they end up meeting at like a dog shelter, an animal shelter. And there's sort of like a mix up with a bunch of people who have wanted to get animals at the shelter. Um, and it turns out they wanted to get the same dog and neither one of them will like let go. Like they both want this dog. And so they do like a co-parenting thing with this dog and they end up falling for each other. It was really cute and really sweet. I'm gonna give this one four stars. It was really fun. And then I'm currently reading Sold to My Ex's Dad which I'm only like on chapter two, so nothing's really happened, but our heroine dated our hero's son. Um, she's 19 now, I don't know how old he is. Um, and in order to pay her mom's medical bills, she decides to auction off a certain card, okay? And he happens to be at the auction and bids like a lot of money for her. <laughs> so he, they've always had like crushes on each other. So and I'm liking that one. And then I'm also liking Surrender to Sin by Nicola Davidson. I totally forgot that Nicola Davidson had novellas that were audiobooks until Tiffany like told us because like Samantha texted us earlier today. She was like, okay y'all, I need novella audiobooks. And so we were all shouting out things, novella audiobooks. I was looking for some and uh, Tiffany was like, oh yeah, Nicola Davidson. I was like, I totally forgot about Nicola Davidson. I haven't read one of her books. Um, let me go check any play. Like there are so many of her books in any play. So um, after I read this one, I'm gonna read all the other ones whenever I need an audiobook. Our heroine in here is a widow. Um, her husband passed, I think like five years ago, and he was like old and gross and yeah, but it was like arranged from by her family. So she had to like agree to it. Um, and then her father is wanting her to marry another gross old dude for money. And she's like, no we're gonna get in a scandal okay and um make this guy like basically run for the hills so she's gonna enlist since help who owns this kind of like pleasure club with two other guys who i assume are the other two guys in the books in the series and i assume they're gonna do some things right now she's like wanting more than just like a facade like she wanted to just like make this facade happen where it looked like she was being like a little bit rambunctious you know in public um but i think she was like you know what no i actually want to like I do stuff with you so i'm really liking it i'm about to go listen to it or some music i think i'm gonna listen to some music in the grocery store because like grocery store especially at heb there are so many people that like if i'm gonna miss so much so i think i'm gonna put in a playlist on Spotify. I actually really like grocery shopping. My only issue is like standing for that long it is awful for me. I actually haven't used my walker in a bit. So that's like a big accomplishment for me. But after the grocery store, my legs hurt quite a bit. So I'm like preparing myself for that. So anyway, I'm gonna go into the grocery store and I'll update you later. Happy Saturday, everyone. I wanted to show off the fit of my Saturday look. <laughs> This is what I will be spending all my Saturday in. I don't care. I'm also wearing Nightmare Before Christmas socks on top of this. So I just think I'm killing 
the Moo Moo vibe. So if you're curious, this is from Hello Lovely. And um, it was when Season 2 of Bridgerton was coming out. So they made these and I love them. It's like my favorite thing to sleep in. Okay, let's fix this. There we go. I am going to be cooking breakfast in a second. Let me take a seat. That's better. Another stare down. Okay, so it's Saturday. And guess what I get to do today? Nothing. <laughs> okay, so I've gotten back into like dating and the past two Saturdays, all I've done is get ready for and stress about a date before the date, go on the date, and after the date, decompress from the date. And I'm so excited I don't need to get to do that, y'all. Social anxiety, no one realizes how like, like, intense it can be to a point where like a whole day from my weekend is like completely booked from one three hour date with somebody like so i am very excited to literally do nothing today so <laughs> i think that says a lot about the person i was going out with like not about them i mean like my feelings towards them like i'd rather do nothing on a saturday prepare for another date with them which is not like that sounds bad but like you know what I wasn't feeling it I didn't want to go on a third date it's okay <laughs> anyways I have a few plans for today even though I'm doing nothing um, my version of nothing is literally staying in your moo moo at home so I'm gonna make myself breakfast and then I need to write two book reviews for the books I finished last night which I will get into that in a second and then I want to read a few novellas that I'm very interested in today one of them I believe is Rachel's favorite I think that's number two in that series I have to check and then a few other little smaller novellas and write reviews for that in and out. Chat with my friends today. I really wanna make some, a new cookie recipe. Weekends, I try and make something new possibly to bake so it can go into my recipe book. <laughs> so today I'm going to try to make brown sugar cookies. They sounded really good, I'm gonna do it. So I wanna do that. I can listen to an audiobook while I do that. Just freaking do whatever I want at home. I'm a big introvert, I'm a homebody. I love being at home so like, I'm in the middle of my rewatch of Hell's Kitchen. I love Hell's Kitchen. And so like, I've been rewatching that. So I might do that while well, edit some videos. Like, I just wanna do what I wanna do today. <laughs> and I'm really excited. Cause my Sundays are meant for workout and cleaning and preparing for the week. That's what my Sundays are. And also filming, Sundays have become my filming days. So like, Sundays aren't really get to do whatever I want days. Um, even though it's a weekend day. So anyway, <laughs> I'm like rambling, but um, I'm excited to be home on a Saturday. I'm gonna cook myself breakfast, watch some booktube while I do it. Um, my video was just posted today for my Very Ambitious May TBR. There are many books on that TBR that uh, I want to read, <laughs> but we're not gonna worry about that right now because uh, this is the time for I just finished making my breakfast and I realized I never gave reviews on the two books that I read last night, so let's do that. Um, I read, I had Reading Express with Tiffany, by the way, and Samantha popped on at one point and it was so fun chatting with them and the people in the comments. So, yeah, um, I think Tiffany and I were on there for like three hours. We had fun. Um, so, the book that I read last night, I finished last night, is Sold to My Ex's Dad, which is a the card auction romance where like her ex's dad ends up being there and pays like five million dollars for this woman um so <laughs> yeah i think i'm gonna give it 3.75 stars i really liked this author's writing and i feel like she's becoming like maybe like a cassie mint level her name's casey rose so um yeah, I really liked it. My only issue was like the ending was a little bit much for me. This is one of those ex's dad books where the boyfriend, like the ex-boyfriend like figures out what's going on. So you have that confrontation in there. Um, so it was like, it was fine. It was good. There were just some things that weren't my favorite. So it's not gonna be a 3.5. I mean, it's not gonna be a five star or a four star for me. And then I also read Surrender to Sin by um, Nicola Davidson. And this is the series that I'm going to read more from today. I'm gonna listen to 
as many of the books in that series as I possibly can um, because those are like audiobooks on any play that are novella length. So yes, um, I am going to be giving this one, I think 4.5 stars. Like it was really good. I really liked this one. A heroine in here, her family, her dad wants her to marry this gross, rich old man. I think I talked about this. And um, she needs Sin's help to kind of like ruin her. So this gross man doesn't want to marry her. So um, I really liked it. I really did 4.5 stars. It's just not like five star level in my brain. So that's why it's not five stars. So, and I'm also holding out hope for the one that Rachel loves the most in this series. And I think that one might be five stars for me because Rachel and I have very similar reading tastes. I'm very excited. I just finished making my breakfast. So I'm going to go eat that. And then I'm going to go curl up in my bed with a book and then I think I'm gonna start I think I'm gonna do the Carabastone one I really want to read I want to read a Carabastone prequel maybe a Grace Draven and then in between I will listen to the next Nicola Davidson book hi everyone it's the next day I have my makeup on and I'm about to do my hair for filming purposes I plan on filming a few things today and I thought I would just update the vlog while getting ready for filming. Um, so today I'm gonna film my April wrap up, my April April call, and a recommendation video that will come out in the next week or so. Um, but I thought I'd also update you on everything that I've read since I last updated you. I did end up making cookies yesterday and they were uh, delicious. Um, they were brown sugar cookies. While I was making that, I was listening to uh, The Devil's Submission by um nicola davidson name just escaped me for a second and i'm going to be giving this book four stars our heroine in here is actually already married to the hero they uh got married after a little like ruin situation like they have a little moment at a ball a few years ago and she gets ruined and he's like i'll marry her immediately but then they haven't spoken in a while because like he wants a more dominant woman and she is like fighting her instincts to be more dominant because women, you know, are supposed to be submissive and are supposed to be docile. So she's like fighting that part of her. I thought he married the wrong woman. You know, like he wants, he needs that like dominant role in that way. So he just like didn't know how to handle it so that was my main thing i gave this book four stars my main thing i mean not issue but like the thing i wish like the characters did was just freaking sit down and talk um because uh that would have made things so much easier for them. like they just needed to talk to each other and they didn't and i kept thinking that throughout the book so um <laughs> this book was four stars for me it was a great read i love the club in this book like ugh, it's so hot so um, I am currently reading book three in the series. There's only three books in the series, which is The Seduction of Viscount Vice. And I think this is like a second chance romance, kind of. Our heroine in here, like, I think she's a few years older than the hero. And, um, like, they had a little hooky hookup to get her out of, like, a bad arranged marriage situation but then she runs away and she's presumed dead and it's years later and she shows up disguised as a footman in um vice's club and he's like uh i thought you were dead it turns out you like lied to me and kind of faked your own death and i've been like distraught over your you for years like what the heck so <laughs> uh things are happening and um, I'm only a few chapters into it, so I'm liking it so far. I love me a good redhead Scottish man. Like, yes, give it to me. So i um, currently loving Vice. Um, and then I did start and finish When She's Fearless by Ruby Dixon. This is her newest release. And it takes place on the RISDA 3 planet that are full of, like, human refugees. And our hero's like on the planet, hired to do some work on the planet, so he doesn't like live there. But he ends up losing his like ID card or something in a river, and he's trying to like find it and tracks it to a certain part of the river that happens to be on our heroine's property. And so instead of like being scared that this big Praxian, which is like kind of cat looking alien, is on her um 
property she like welcomes him into her home and they have a grand old time together it was fun it's like 80 pages so i gave it four stars it was a ruby book i'm probably gonna rate almost every ruby book i read four stars or higher so this was a fun entertaining read and then i also read our group book which was Cry Baby by Marina Vivancos. Samantha loves this book and I can totally see why she also loves this author. I was really sucked into this story. This is an MM romance and it's friends to lovers and that's all I can really like say. Well, other than the hero like gets off on like people crying from pleasure. And so, yeah. And you also have like uh, the other hero is like into guys, but he's never been with a guy before. So he's kind of like showing him the ropes. It's kind of like a love lesson situation, but they like actually fall for each other kind of thing. So my gosh, my dogs are crying at the door. Let me finish this section and then I will go get them. I need to film some things today. So I'm excited for that. Oh, and I'm also, I I haven't started an ebook yet, but I really want to start Swapped Bride by Cassie Mint because that was on my six book tbr that i had um and then after that i want to read a car stone book so yeah i have everything planned for today i hope i have time to read today between all the filming and like cleaning and laundry i have to do today um so and then I'm gonna spray that oh this is what i use by the way kendra thermal styling spray this makes the curls stay in my hair for days. Not as tight, you know, but like this stuff's good. Okay, my dog is now barking at me. <laughs> I have to go. I'll finish my hair and go film some stuff. Hi everyone. I just finished filming my three videos I wanted to film. And so now it's time to take some Instagram pictures. So get ready for a time lapse of me trying to take Bixtagram pictures. Um, first, I gotta clean my iPad off because I used my iPad in some of these pictures. Um, and it looks gross. Um, so I'm going to clean that and then um, get to take pictures. Also, yes, I filmed the majority of my videos in PJ pants. So. <laughs> um, and also take the, the pictures like it. You'll see. I'm going to take some pictures with me wearing these. So anyway, enjoy. <laughs> Step one. Wake up, really gonna rise with the sun. Step two. Get some good, some food in you. Step three. Grow hard about what you want to be. Step four. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Set your affirmations, aspirations I do the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. So life ain't easy, y'all. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo Negative thoughts are poison, they ride, uh. Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds, uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm Hi everyone, it's the last day of the readathon and I'm going to wrap it up here. I don't think I'm going to be reading anything else for this readathon. I am currently reading a novella, but it's on audio form and I don't see myself finishing it tonight. Maybe, maybe not. If I finish it, it'll be in my May wrap up regardless. So um, I finished Swapped Bride by Cassie Mint. This is a novella that's like a swapped twin situation. So our heroine in here is 
the twin sister to this very famous model and our hero is blackmailing that girl the girl's dad um and no one knows about the twin sister who's the heroine she has a scar on her face and her dad like hit her away in a tower like rapunzel um and anyway the guy who has the dad under like a blackmail situation is like okay i'll forgive you of your debt if you let me marry your very famous daughter then um what happens is like our heroine in here ends up taking her sister's place and marries him instead and very insta lovey they're in love like right from the get-go so i gave this three point five stars it was cute and sweet i loved like the whole plot line of him being really interested in her right from the get-go at the wedding um because when he was looking at pictures of her he was like eh, I'm, uh, I'm not that interested in her but i need to ruin this dude so i'll just marry his daughter um so yeah he was very interested in like the sister right away so i liked that but it was like a little bit too much for me with the insta love and then i read and finished mistletoe by kimberly lemming this book was so funny i loved it um this takes place after that time i got drunk and saved a demon i think that's the title of it and our heroine in here her dad like did something he should not have and a demon cursed him because of it where like he's a blacksmith so everything he makes now talks and like says like profanities and like gross things <laughs> like funny gross things and so the heroine's like i'm sick of all these swords and axes and everything talking it's ruining our business so i need to go find this demon and just like say i'm sorry like my dad messed up i'll do anything to make this curse go away but when she meets the demon he's like okay i'll make the curse go away if you agree to be kind of like my fake mate at this situation that's going on so super funny alexis is a talking sword that the heroine like brings around with her and she is really funny one of the best side characters ever had me cackling at work i really enjoyed this one kimberly lemming is becoming one of like the punniest authors ever like i really love her writing um but other than that that's everything that i've read and that is a grand total of 12 novellas for the novellathon i ended up reading 12 books in five days five days six days i can't remember when we started this uh readathon <laughs> anyway i had a lot of fun with my friends and a lot of fun just reading novellas like i haven't read like a really good novella in a while and i ended up reading a bunch during this readathon so i love my friends so much and i'm so glad they decided to do this again and i can't wait for another round our, ne our next round may or may not be paranormal theme for a certain season okay so um i love y'all so much thank y'all so much for watching this video let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and if you don't feel like commenting any of those things you can leave me the um sword <laughs> sword emoji in the comment section down below but anyways thank y'all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all